in this video we'll be uh, looking in the given grammar and checking if the given grammar is slr or not so in order to check if the grammar is slr or not we need to construct slr parsing tree so before we proceed our first step is to find the first and follow of first and follow of the non terminals so the non terminals here are slr so let me write it here s l and r so i'll write first i'll compute first and follow so here i'm writing the values directly um, if you want to understand if you want to know how to find first and follow do watch my previous videos so first of s would be star and id so let me write it here it would be the same for l and r also moving on to follow follow of s so dollar would be there and here dollar and equals and dollar and equals to so if i have written the i have written the first and follow my next step is to um, construct the step 2 is constructing the argument constructing argumented grammar g dash from the given grammar so here let's consider this as g grammar so i'll be constructing uh, argumented grammar so my first step is to from the start symbol i should write s derives dot s so next whatever s being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of that particular non terminal and followed by a dot in the beginning so i have to convert from this to this form and for other productions of a derives dot x form i should convert it into a derives x dot form so let me start with the uh, i not productions so first s dash derives dot s here s is the start symbol s is the start symbol so let me start from the start symbol itself so s dash derives dot s so s being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of s so s derives dot l equals r s derives dot r so here l being a non terminal i should write all the productions of l so dot star r and l derives dot id and r being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of r with a dot in the starting so i have obtained i not items here so let me put this in a box and write i not here so over s this dot would shift to one place so i would write s dash derives s dot so i'll consider this as i1 so this is done now over l here i have l right so over l i get s derives l dot equals r so after dot i have a terminal here so i can't expand it further so i'll put a box here and write i2 here so next i'll consider r over production r i can write s derives r dot so yes this is i3 this is done now i'll consider star so i can write l derives star dot r so r being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of r that is r derives dot l so yes and l being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of l also so it would be l derives dot star r and l derives dot id so let me put this in a box so this would be i4 productions next i am done with this next i have l derives dot id so for that i'll write over id i can get l derives id dot so this is production uh, item number 5 and over 
L, I would get R derives L dot. So here L productions are being repeated twice. So I'll club these two as I to itself. So moving on to the next, I'll, I'll start from I1 now. So I1, it is, we have obtained of the form A derives S dash derives S dot. Yes, that's the final st uh, state for an item. Yes, I've obtained. Looking at the I2 item, I can write uh, followed by dot, I have equals to symbol, right? So over equal to, I can write S derives L equals dot R. Uh, after dot I have R being a non-terminal I should write all the possible productions of R that is R derives dot L L being a non-terminal I should write all the possible productions of L that is L derives dot star R L derives dot star R and L derives dot I D so I'll take this here the last was I5 right so I'll write this as I6 so uh, I3 cannot be further uh, expanded similarly r derives l dot also cannot be further expanded right so moving on to i4 i4 here i have uh, after dot i have r so over r i will write l derives star r dot so this would be this was i6 so i'll write i7 here so this is done over l i can write r derives l dot r derives l dot was i2 right so R derives L dot was I2. So I'll write I2 here. Next L derives dot star R. So over star, I can write R over star. It will be the same as I4 itself. So let me write I4 here and over ID, it would be I5 itself. So now moving on to I6 here over R. I would get over R I would get S derives L equals R dot. So I'll take okay R derives L dot uh, is R derives L dot is taken as I8 because this is single whereas in I2 comprises of S derives L dot equals R and R derives L dot. These two are together I2 but R derives L dot is single so I'll take this as I8 so this would be I9 so over L this is done over L I would get I8 itself and over star I would get I4 and over ID I would get I5 so I am done with I6 I7 I8 and I9 so you can't further expand it so here I have obtained the argumented grammar my next step would be to draw the uh, SLR passing tree so here I have written um, all the non all the terminals, non terminals, and all the items here. So let me start from I not, I not over S, I not over S, I not over S. I would get I one right. So S being a non S being a non terminal, here I can directly write the number. 1 so i not over s i can write 1 i not over l i get i2 i not over r i get um, i3 these are for non terminals now looking at the terminals i not over star i am shifting the values so i not over star it is shifted to uh, i4 so here i not over star i write s4 so for id i not over id i get s5 i not over id i get s5 so <clears throat> this is for uh, i not productions now uh, here i have to look the uh, look into uh, one concept that is if i have s dash derives dot s where s is a start symbol if any production is of this form or with the help of some uh, terminal or a non-terminal I am obtaining this there I have to change it as in that particular cell I need to fill accept so looking at this s dash derives s 
from uh, i am obtaining it at i1 right so in i1 over dollar i need to write accept here so i am done with i1 now my next rule states that if there is any production of the form um, a derives alpha then i can write action of i comma follow of capital a would give reduce of a derives alpha the production number here and one more thing i need to remember that a is not equal to s dash here so now comparing this particular rule with all the uh, productions here of the form a derives alpha dot so first looking at i2 it is there's nothing of this form i3 yes in i3 i have s derives r dot so i write this is third production right so 3 comma follow of a a here is s follow of s is dollar is equal to reduce of a derives alpha so s derives r s derives r is the second production this is first production second third fourth and fifth so s derives alpha is a uh, second production so i write r2 here so i am done with i3 i4 no it's not possible uh, moving to i5 i write l derives id dot so i can write l this is fifth production and follow of l follow of l is dollar and equal symbol is equal to r4 because l derives id is the fourth production coming to i7 in i7 i have l derives star r dot so l derives star r dot so i can write 7 comma dollar is equal to l derives star r is r3 next i am done with i7 moving on to i uh, moving on to i8 moving on to i8 i'll write uh, i'll write it as r derives l dot so here i'll write 8 comma follow of r is dollar equals <coughs> follow of r is dollar equals is equal to r derives l is obtained in the fifth production next i have i9 of this form that is s derives l equals r dot so ninth production follow of s i get dollar is equal to s derives l equals r is the first production so r1 here so i have obtained all the reduce part here now let's write the shifting part first after that i'll look into reduce so i am done with i0 production i am done with i1 production now looking at uh, i2 production i2 uh, i2 item sorry oh, i2 over equals to i get i6 so i2 over equals to i get s6 that is shift of 6 next um, i2 is done i3 is done oh, and i4 i4 over r i get i7 i4 over r i get 7 and i4 over l i get 8 so next i4 over star i get s4 and i4 over id i get s5 Moving on to uh, I5, there's nothing. I6 over R, I get I9. I6 over R, I get 9. And I6 over L, I get 8. And I6 over star, I get S4. I6 over ID, I get S5. Moving on to I7, there's nothing. I8, you can't, there, there are no further productions. I9 also, there are no further productions. So I am done with the shifting part. Now let's... Uh, fill the reduced part which we have obtained. So here I have obtained the reduced part, right? So I'll fill it in the table here. So uh, three comma dollar I have to fill R two. I three comma dollar fill R two. Then I five comma dollar and equals to I five. So dollar R four and equals to R four. So done um next i have next i have i3 is done i5 is done next i have i7 i7 is 7 and dollar i should get r3 
थ्री डन नेक्स्ट आई हैव एट एंड डॉलर एट एंड डॉलर आई शुड राइट आर फाइव एट एंड इक्वल्स टू आई शुड राइट आर फाइव नाइन एंड डॉलर आई शुड राइट आर वन बट हियर वी हैव मिस्ड आउट दिस आई आई टू प्रोडक्शन दैट इज इन आई टू प्रोडक्शन आर डेराइव एल डॉट आई कैन राइट टू कॉमर डॉलर इक्वल्स इज इक्वल टू आर डेराइव एल एस आर टू लाइक आर डेराइव एल राइट आर डेराइव एल सो दिस इज आर फाइव सो filling this in the table so i2 2 comma dollar i have r5 and 2 comma dollar i have r5 2 comma equals i have r5 so if you look at the table here there is a shift and reduce conflict happening so in case where uh, there is shift and reduce uh, conflict happening we can state that particular grammar is not slr so we can state that this particular grammar g is not slr grammar so i hope you have understood how to find uh, slr parsing tree of a given grammar if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you